Hey guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Derek, and today I'm going to talk about a game that I just actually finished on PC called Bright Memory Infinite. Now, if you had a chance, you could actually play the original. It's called Bright Memory. It was actually made by one guy. Now, the question is, can a small indie development studio comprise of one or a few guys make a game that's more polished than some of the AAA titles that's actually out now? And yet, the answer is yes and no. Now, if you had a chance to buy the original Bright Memory, I believe you was able to get it on Steam, especially on the Steam sales, fairly cheap. I think it was 5 bucks, but maybe $10 regular. Now, the game was only maybe 30 minutes long. It was more of a showcase slash tech demo of ray tracing for the most part. I think the original had ray tracing. I'm not 100% sure I may need to go back on it, but I'm pretty sure it did. I know Bright Memory Infinite does. has actually a bevy of a whole lot of stuff you could do on your system in terms of video fidelity. Uh, a lot of options there. Uh, more so than a lot of games like AAA games, which is weird. Now, Bright Memory Infinite is fun. It's all out fun. It's actually really fun. It's a mix between Doom, Doom, Call of Duty, and Devil May Cry. So you got that Call of Duty um, gameplay. You got the Doom fast pace, enemies everywhere, and you got these big bosses, and you have a melee, a big sword that you can actually slash and dash and dice and everything. It's pretty cool. Now, there's also some things you can unlock in the game, like new abilities for your guns, your blades, as well as some other abilities for, like, extra powers for your exosuit. Now, the story, if you're wondering, is the story any good? And the answer is no. It's not good at all. It's really weird. There's some really weird, cringy moments in this game. But the weird thing is, and I'll go ahead and say this now, if you, you actually had the game... The first part is called Bright Memory. Bright Memory, I think. Maybe it was Prologue. I don't know. It was Bright Memory. <laughs> if you had the game originally, you actually got, if you had it on Steam, you got Bright Memory Infinite for free. Now, those who do not have had that, uh, had that problem, those who did not have the original game, I had to charge $19.99 for it. $20. Now, is it worth $20? That's where I say no. That's where I say it's not really worth 20 bucks. But if you have the game, the original, and you have a chance to play, have it in your library, it's worth playing. I clocked in a little over two hours after I beat the game. And like I said, it wasn't perfect, but it was more polished. And when I say polished, I mean, I never really ran into very many bugs. There were some, mainly little glitches like getting stuck inside specific, like if you're on a corner, you kind of get stuck, but you kind of fell out of it. And that's what happened to me. I got stuck in the corner and I eventually fell out of the corner and back onto the battlefield. Um, and there was a few other things with uh, the graphics kind of wonky, but not, not a lot. I'm actually surprised that the game ran so well for the most part. Um, hardly any any frame loss, hardly any of that, especially because I had everything cranked up to max. Now, the character model is kind of weird. It is a waifu. Um, strange. Strange. You can unlock waifu attire whenever you finish the game, and I believe you can buy it through DLC, which I don't know why they have DLC for this game. I don't think there's much replay value. I think it's one of those games you play once and you're done. And maybe look back on it one day in the future and be like, hey, that was actually pretty cool. Uh, my system can run that. No, not everything's bad. I'm just going to say it's not bad because I had fun. Honestly, I had more fun playing this game than I had most AAA games this year in terms of just fun and i think that's what the game is like it's ultimately it's not out there to compete with triple a games i don't even think it's trying to compete with anything honestly i think it's just trying to 
show you know how much can be done with such small manpower. And like I said, the amount of polish that goes with that is quite impressive. Honestly, it's really impressive. It's actually real fucking impressive, believe it or not. But if you get a chance, if you have the original Bright Memory on Steam, check your library, and you'll have Bright Memory Infinite on there. Give it a shot. Actually, play through the uh, first Bright Memory, then play that. You're looking at about three hours of content altogether. And I think that's, you know, today is Sunday, and all, all I'm, well, when recording it, it's Sunday. <laughs> and I just played through it in the evening, a couple hours. It was worth it. Definitely worth it. But guys, I'd like to know what you guys think. I'm going to be working on more games. I figured I'd get this one out. It's a really small game, short game, and I wanted to talk a little bit about it. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. I definitely appreciate it. Feel free. Wait. Wait. We're going to be streaming soon. Pokemon. Pokemon. Diamond and Pearl, the remakes, that's happening. Okay, okay. If you guys haven't already, feel free to hit that follow button, hit that subscribe button. I definitely appreciate it, and I'll see you soon.